Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and we're back to another episode of Detroit Become Human. We're just gonna hop right into it. So last time we just sort of ended off with like Marcus's chapter and a bit of Connor here and there. So we're probably going to be hopping back to Kara in this next chapter, I believe. So without further ado, let's hop right into it and see what's in store for us in Detroit Become Human. Alright guys, so last time when we were with Kara, we got through the entire motel, stole a bit of money, but uh, at the very end our shelter was very comfortable, so that's where we're starting off uh, in today's episode. I'm kind of worried about how we're going to get out of the motel though, because uh, they did ask for an ID, and we don't have an ID, we don't have a driver's license to back us up. And the uh, Android thing is not helping, so we might need to go on the run, who knows. All right, let's figure out what to do. Okay, so we'll let Alice rest for now. Uh, I think the main thing we should be checking on is to see if there's anybody outside the window. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare? No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. Uh, let's go for food, You must be maybe? starving. You should take a bath, and then we'll go out and find you something to eat. What do you say? I mean, we don't have any money, okay. but we can try, right? We probably need to steal some more money, let's be real. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna commit more crimes. Oh, hold up. There we go. It didn't work the first time I did it, but now it's pretty much good. Alright. I kind of feel like we should do the Marcus thing and pop out the old uh, lights on our on our right brain, huh? Oh, she's going to do it too. Hey, that's some pretty good stuff. Oh, never mind. I thought she was cutting the uh, thing off. It's just her hair. I guess you can cut your hair? Androids mildly confused me because um I was looking at the Kara short movie and they don't start out with hair Accessing options select new hair color blonde white black. Uh, I think black makes us look a little more subtle, right? Yeah, it makes it look more subtle so like if we switch like blonde or white might make us like stick out the crowd a little bit I don't know this car look like a blonde or a Mm, I don't know. Maybe she just keep brown, but maybe that'll make it look too much like a bot. Let's let's do black. I think blonde is a little bit too. Like if we're in a crowd, right? Really wish we could pop that out. Yes. A hey. good move. Good move. Why is it so easy to pop out though? I'm actually confused. It's like so easy to pop out. Did the designers not think this was a design flaw? Yeah, that looks like enough water. We don't want to flood the bath now, do we? Okay, we didn't read through this magazine. You really look like a human now. So we're just gonna quickly sort of scroll through this. So feel free to pause the video and just sort of like read things. Uh, but this is sort of already part of the uh, collection. I'm just trying to get into the collection. These are technically collectibles. So that's exactly what I'm doing. What's that? Oh, okay. I thought somebody was coming in through the front door. I think that's just Alice going in the, into the bathroom. What's good on the news? Okay. Where's the crime that's talking about me? Thanks, Michael. Yep. I'm joined by <laughs> town resident Todd Williams, who was violently attacked by his AX400 around 11 p.m. last night. What? Todd, can you tell us what happened? Violently attacked. Okay. I was having dinner. I was minding my own business. Damn thing jumped on me. I managed to defend myself, but it went crazy. I thought it was going to kill me. I fought it off, but it ran away. Thank you, Todd. Oh, Todd, you, you're an absolute sack of shit. Everywhere. 
police have launched a search to find the android. Let's hope they find it fast. Oh no, this is bad now because I feel like maybe the police are looking too much into android instead of why they it's become deviants. It's not true. He's lying. He's the one who tried to hurt us. It's okay, Alice. What are we gonna do? We know the truth. We have nowhere to go. And the police are looking for us now. Well, we only have so many options. Can't stay here, family. We should contact the android. So we can't stay here, that's for sure. That android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. But can we trust the android? I mean, there are androids after all, so maybe not too bad, but we can give it a shot. Determined, comforting, supportive, and comforting. We can't change the past, Alice. But we can decide the future. Nice words. We're I love it. Pull through, and soon all this will just be a bad memory. Woo, yes. Well, as long as well the public opinion is getting lower, but I kinda hope we can push it a little further with Connor. Finished getting ready? I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. Anyways. Right, so. Time to head out to get some food, I believe. What is it? Get breakfast for Alice. Right, so. We look totally fine. So, I guess we need to get out the door. But the driver's license thing does kind of worry me. We already said we didn't have one. But how do we sort it out in the morning, am I right? We need to give them an address. Oh shit. Oh my god, it's Connor. That's not good. Oh no, we gotta run. Android police. Looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You seen anything? An android? No. I don't take androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. Well, shit. We gotta run. We gotta run, boys. Oh my god. We swapping to Connor mid... mid-scene. Holy shit. This yeah, is... Yeah, simultaneously good and bad. You wait in the car. Oh, hell no. Diplomatic. I think it's best if I go with you. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. All I Damn want it, is Hank. to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. You want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. Okay. Not the right direction for Hank. Wait, can I have the option to get back into the car, though? Nope. Yeah, well, I <laughs> guess that's that. I should have... Uh, Done the triangle option, the top option. Okay, now the question is how Kara is gonna get out of that situation. We put her into that situation, and now how will she get out of the situation? I feel like we're gonna flip between uh, Kara and Connor for this particular scene, so I'm excited. Okay, bed's empty. Where did they go? I think they left before they Connor just got out, you know. It's gone. Well shit. I mean, that's what Connor did, right? Smart move. Sneak past the cops? How do I sneak past the cops? Okay, I don't know. Danger level. So we just need to watch that danger level percentage, right? Oh crap. Can I? Oh no, I'll walk past the street. Oh 
and just continue walking like they're far away from us right now 10% 52 you know it's not it's not too high we can get there okay so we just need to keep on hiding at certain points holy fuck 99% I thought we were caught for sure That was creepy. Uh, I'll cross the road. Right? There are no cops on the side of the road. Are there? Okay. Get an umbrella. What? There we go. That way, we can hide ourselves a little bit. So danger level is about how close they are, which is a pretty good uh, evaluation. Ooh, sneak tactics 101. Okay, that guy's not a cop. So we can go. Let's move. Woo! This is sneaking, but this is a whole new way to sneak. Okay, there. Okay, let's check in the ATM here. Totally looking fine. Oh man, that music is pumping. Let's go. Crap, is that a police officer? No? Okay. Good, good, good. We made it. I, I hope, I think we did. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. That's how we put our sneak skills to use. I mean, there are chairs you can sit down on. You don't need a kneel in the middle of the train compartment. I'm actually surprised there's no one on the train though, to be honest. Right, so we finished the first one on the run. So we managed to escape successfully. So I believe the other option is we don't, obviously we don't reach it successfully, which is all of this, which means in order to unlock this, we need to get caught. Right, so let me just see where we go from here. Oh, never mind. There, there are three different ways to start this, which is interesting, to say the least. Anyways, let's continue. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assisted androids have... Oh, here's Marcus. He looks kind of suspicious, not gonna lie. He's just like wearing a trench coat, so like, I don't know, man. Alright, let's get moving. It's just a guy in a trench coat, and looks like he's a vagrant of some sort. Okay, interesting symbol. Look for the graffiti. Here we go. Symbols found. Oh, never mind. It's this one, right? Clue updated. The lion. Okay. So I think I saw, was there a lion here? No, so this is a police and a person. So let's go down and find a lion. I think. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's downstairs. So we're not an android, we're just a vagrant. Damn. Okay, so I think, is it here? 
Yep. Found it. Okay, I'm not going to talk to that android because I don't know what it does, but, um... Uh, hold up, that's... Here we go. Use the right six to find the next symbol. So there's also one here? Okay, here we go. Nice. We're not, we're not losing too much. A star. So we need to look for some pipes. Mm, pipes, pipes. Oh, there we go. That was fast. <laughs> Honestly, that, that was pretty good. Pretty fast. Can we pass now? We can be responsible citizens. Oh, screen light. Yay. Running. Sometimes you just gotta respect the uh, traffic lights. Right, here we go. Here's our third symbol. And hopefully it'll lead us to where we wanna go. Whoop. Just missed the mark. And uh, our second symbol is probably here we go. Nice. So our next location is a bunch of robots behind a fence. Okay, so we're kind of exploring the city, trying to find it. Let me throw in a scan. Is it here? Yeah, just right around the corner too, so it's not too bad. Okay, one symbol. Obstruct symbol, okay. Hold up, is there another one though that we can find without crouching? If not, then... Okay, let's go through. I wonder if failing quick times changed the outcome. Because it would be interesting if they did. Oh, there's one here, yeah. There's one unobstructed one. Right, let me remove this one. Hold up. There we go. Nice. Now we can get the final scan in. It's like a treasure hunt, you know? Except you're just trying to find a R90... R98, was it called? I don't remember what it's called anymore. Alright, so... I guess we're not walking out the other way. There we go. Dang it, I can't scan from a further distance. I actually have to be close up. Okay, one. Yep, so you can find a way to reach the roof. Maybe there's a ladder around here somewhere? Maybe we can do a little bit of parkour. Vines? What? Oh, I was like, what are you telling me to move? Totally not suspicious at all. Okay, let me see. Was there a symbol down here? No? Okay. Then we're good. Ooh, this guy's a parkour master. What can I say? So we scan this one, then we'll scan this one. Then there should be... Where's the last one? One, two, and... Where's three? Like, I can't rotate more than this field of view, so... It has to be here somewhere. Yeah, it's pointing directly at this, what? I can see visually two, but I can't see a third one. Okay, I'm just gonna move this around until it becomes yellow. Because I can't see anything. Okay, let me just... Where is it? Like, I can't see it. Oh, wait, what? Oh, dang it, I didn't see it. It was, it's white. I didn't see it against the white, like the black backdrop. Dang it. I didn't move my thing around enough to trigger the yellow. Uh, I don't want to go down there. That looks creepy. Can I jump though? Oh, he's gonna make a jump. He's gonna make a leap of faith. Use the right stick to select the route. Wall run. And then... 
Oh, that totally works. Right? Okay, that's one option. Nice! Look at that amazing parkour skills. Right, so next graffiti, somewhere over the rainbow. Drop, alright. Wow, this place is hella abandoned. Okay, here we go. Sparkle City, the repair store. Okay, so I was under the assumption all of them were like black in that previous artwork, so I didn't see it. So I'm guessing this one may be the same thing, or some of them is black. Because if that's how I missed one, I can probably miss it again in the same way. Okay, so this is, we're looking at the entirety of the poster. So it's another hidden one that I need to try to find. Woo! Talk about mind teaser. Hmm. Yeah, once again, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Ooh, that android did not make it. Okay, so it should be here. It's just another hidden one. Oh, found it. oh god, these are really hidden, what the heck? They're designed not to be seen by human eyes. Holy crap, I nearly missed that one too. It was right between the words. Crazy. Reconstruct. Okay, fair enough. Would not be solid enough, so let's choose our second path. And then, look at this. We jump here, jump there. Which is all handy dandy, so then we can wall run, or we can jump here. So this might slide. Yep, <laughs> I knew it. So if we wall run, nope, nope, I gotta rewind here, and then, there we go. Okay, might work. Oh, that works, oh wow. So I don't think we should reach for that. We should go for this first. Oh, okay, he would just miss it. Okay, ladder it is. Does that work? Is that good? Then we shall execute. Let's do it. Parkour Marcus in the area. Ooh, wow. Man, if I had those kind of parkour skills, I'll be set for any survival horror game. Okay. Next graffiti. Is it is after this break in the wall, it should be here. This entire thing is a symbol. Boom. Find another break in the wall with a bunch of timber. So here. Let's hope let's not get any jump scares, honestly. I'm worried about jump scares. Oh, I realize my volume is actually kind of loud, but <laughs> I'm setting myself up to get scared, aren't I? But that's fine. Yeah, we made it. Ooh, the sunlight's just breaking over the horizon. And we found Jericho. Oh, I didn't realize Marcus has a heterochroma in his eyes. So Jericho is like an abandoned fright of this boat that's a sanctuary. Oh god. That scared the hell out of me. Oh gosh. Right, let's find another way. Yeah, the stairs will totally work. Is there another... Nope. Just this way. Let's do it. Hop de hop. I mean, a lot of this metal is rusted, so... Kind of stands to reason, not gonna lie, that something might break. And I don't like that creaking. I don't like this at all. Okay, up the ladder. Okay. Over here. 
Now we can cross the sky bridge. Let's go, don't collapse on me. All right, here we go. Fingers crossed. And into the pit. Oh, he assassins created it. Right. And I guess you shed your uh, coat while while you're on the way. I guess. Okay. I hope I don't get jump scared. <laughs> but, uh, who knows? Might as well turn down my volume a tad. Right. Let's get going. Holy crap! This is actually loud in my ears. I'm turning it down. <laughs> Explore the boat. This is definitely old as heck. Oh, you're kidding me. Let's make this a horror movie, I guess. Oh, you're crazy. Oh my god. If you guys know me, I I absolutely despise horror because I can't take it. It's not I it's not that I hate horror. The story is amazing, but I can't take horror. So this is like my absolute nemesis. Here we go. Oh god. So scared. Please don't be a jump scare. Okay, I gotta find them at some point, right? So just let me find them at some point. Uh the Swayze hallway is blocked, so keep on moving. This is like straight out of Resident Evil 2 thing. And, uh, that thing is scary as heck, so. Is there anything here? Okay, there's one thing here, so. Okay, there's a magazine, that's great. More to our collectibles, so. Again, just, just pause if you want to read it. Some great stuff, Some great stuff here. Okay. Android astronauts, that's pretty cool. Isn't EO a uh, Jupiter moon, if I remember correctly? Right. Anyways, let's explore all the rooms. Even though I know it's putting me more prone to a jump scare, but why not? Okay, we continue to explore the boat. Um, which hall would look safer? Oh, this place blocked. Never mind. Can't walk down a passageway if it's blocked, right? Oh gosh. I guess we're following the running person. Okay, let's go. Let's not get attacked, please. Okay, then I'm guessing they went through here. There's only so many doors, my man. Okay, let me try this first. A lot of these doors do not work. I think they've been mostly rusted. Here we go. Twist and turn. Please don't get jump scared. Oh, I'm definitely getting jump scared, aren't I? Oh boy. For an Android community, you guys are hella secretive about new Androids coming in. Oh god. Oh god. Please don't. Please don't attack me. I'm so innocent. I'm just an innocent Marcus. Oh god. Oh man. The rust is like one thing on the ship, man. Okay, let's get up. Okay, let's get our torch. Let's not get jump scared, please. Oh, okay. We found our community. Okay, we're not going to be scared anymore. Welcome to Jericho. Woo! Holy crap, that was scary. Holy shit, that was scary. Right, so we had to follow the catwalk anyways. So, yeah. Let me just check over here. I see a couple of missing ones. 
Oh, so we didn't see one thing when we we're getting the office. So some of them is just stuff we didn't see. And the other one's just if we don't follow the signs, I believe. Okay, and also the magazines. Oh, there's three magazines there? Okay, then. But, um, anyways, we managed to cover, like, two chapters in this video. So we're going to end this chapter off, this video off here for now. We'll be moving on to the next couple chapters, which will be Connor. And hopefully we can also get Kara in the next video as well. But for now, I hope you guys are staying safe and staying healthy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, bye.